Hello, I'm Mike Hasem, and today we're going to work out the key of a song using our ukuleles. This video supports the article I wrote, What Key Are We In?, in the latest edition of Uke Magazine, which you can get from World of Ukes, and that will give you a little bit of background knowledge as well as being a fantastic read all round. So let's get started. We're going to find the key of a song using a series of four practical steps that you can follow along with me. I've purposely picked a few songs that I don't already know the key of so that we can work it out together. The first track we're going to use is one called Saturday by Sam Fender. Step one is to listen, and when I say listen, I mean actively listen, um, paying close attention to where the song feels at rest. Let's put on the first track. Step two is to try and hum a pitch which seems to fit throughout the song. If you find this difficult, listen out for a note that the melody keeps coming back to, a home base if you will, particularly at the ends of phrases. So we'll give the track another listen, I'll let you do this by yourself and then tell you what I think. That's the note I got. Did you get the same? Step three is to find that note that you just hummed on the ukulele fretboard. So here's a fretboard diagram for you to look at. Pause the video and see if you can find it before I give you the answer. Okay, so did you get it? So this is the note that you should have got. And if we look at our fretboard diagram, that's C-sharp or D-flat. Step four is finding the actual key. We have our key note, but are we in major or minor? A quick way of doing this is listening for the mood of the song, where broadly major is happy and minor is sad. But this can be a bit subjective and there is a more accurate way, which involves playing the chord major chord or the minor chord that goes along with our keynote, the one that's built on that note. So in this case that's D flat major or D flat minor. Let's play both of those along with the song and see which fits best. That's major. So we can tell that the major one goes best, in which case we can assume that the key is D flat major. But we can confirm that by playing some of the other chords from that key. That's why I've created this table for you, uh, so you can have a look at all the chords within each key. So let's look at the key of D flat major. Songs often make heavy use of the five chord and quite often the four chord too. And I think you'll see that this song is a perfect example of this. So 
So the chords I was playing there were D flat major, A flat major, then G flat major. And if you look at the table, those are the one, five and four chords. So I think we can be pretty confident now that this song is in the key of D flat major, which you can also name as C sharp major. And we call these enharmonic equivalents. Before we look at the next song, I'll just mention that you can download a worksheet for this lesson. Um, and the worksheet includes the fretboard diagram that I showed earlier, the table of chords in keys, and full instructions on how to find the key of a song. And that's available to any tier level on my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Mike Hasem. And you'll also get access to all my other past, present and future goodies on there. So let's look at the next example. This song is called Lonely by Cut Off. The first step, you may remember, is just to listen. So we'll listen to it for a few seconds. That was just to get a quick feel for it. And step two is to hum the note that we think goes along with it. So we'll listen to a little bit more and try and find that note. So what note did you get? I got this note. Did you get that note? So step three, if you'll remember, is to find that note on the fretboard. So again, pause the video and see if you can find it. Okay, so this is the note that I got. And if we look at our ukulele fretboard diagram again, you'll see that that note is an F. Step four is to see if this is major or minor. So we'll play it again and try the F major and F minor chords. Let's play it and see which one fits the best. <coughs> think we need to go any further. It's obvious there that we're in F minor. Or at least that chord seems to fit the best. Let's see if we can find the other chords. So I should say that minor keys use the same chords and notes as a major key, a related major key, which is why it's called a relative minor or relative major. The only difference is the minor key has a different starting point, which is always the sixth degree of another related major key. So the F minor chord is on the sixth degree of the key of A flat major, but the first degree of F minor. So let's try and play some of those chords from that key over the song itself. Those all fit, so we've got F minor, D 
D-flat major, and then E-flat major. So all of those chords are from the key of F minor. And unsurprisingly, a song called Lonely is in a sad minor key. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and remember that you can subscribe to this channel for more related ukulele content and lessons. So we've just worked out the key of two songs, one major and one minor in a few minutes. Pretty cool, right? But as always with music, there are exceptions. And one particular exception I want to go over is modes. I'll probably do a more in-depth video on this at some point, but for now I just want to touch on it briefly in terms of finding the key of a song. You'll often find when a song is written in a mode rather than a key that when you've got your main chord, the other chords in that key don't seem to go. And this is because modes are a bit like the minor key or natural minor scale, which is built on the sixth degree. In the case of modes, they can be on any of the degrees of the major scale. So if I bring up my table again, you'll see all the names of the modes and what scale degree of the major scale they begin on. So how do we find which mode we're in? We've already discovered that the main chord doesn't fit with the key of the same name. So what we have to do is look for that chord elsewhere in the chart. Then the next step is to try and play the other chords from that key and see if they also fit. If this is clear as mud, then we'll look at a quick example. Let's put on Mabel's hit song, Don't Call Me Up. When I'm underneath the bright lights, when I'm trying to have a good time, cause I'm good and now you ain't mine, nah, 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 nah. Don't call me up when you're looking at my photos. Okay, so quickly I found that the note was B and the minor chord fitted straight away. So we're in the key of B minor, right? Well, no. Let's follow along and see what other chords fit with it. When I'm underneath the bright lights When I'm trying to have a good time Cause I'm good and now you ain't mine Nah, 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 nah don't call me up when you're looking at my photos Getting hot, losing control You want me more, now I let go Na, 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 I'm over you So already we have B minor A major E major But the key of B minor has an E minor in it Not an E major So let's look at another key that does have all three of these chords. The chord of B minor is on the second degree of the A major key. And if we look down the bottom of the table, we can see that the second degree is where the Dorian mode starts. So actually, although this song uses all the chords of the A major key, it's written in the B Dorian mode. Notice that when we use modes, we omit the minor, it's just B. Dorian. So after looking at those three example songs, you've gained quite a breadth of knowledge in terms of finding out the key of a song and then finding what chords fit with that song, which is probably what you actually wanted to learn. What chords are in this song? How can I play it? How can I work it out myself? Whilst this four-step method works for an awful lot of songs, there are a few caveats to be aware of. In minor keys, the V chord is often swapped out for a major version of that chord. So in A minor, we might expect an E minor, but actually a lot of songs will swap that for E major so that it resolves more nicely onto the A. Sometimes there is a change of key within the song. And in this case, you'll need to run through the four step method on each section of the song. Lastly, some music isn't in a key at all. It'll borrow notes and chords from all over the place. And whilst this is rare in popular music, you may find it in jazz and classical. For the moment, I would avoid analyzing that type of music until you've really honed your listening skills. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. Remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. And 
Also remember that you can download that worksheet from my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mike Hasten. See you next time.